GG everybody, welcome back to Green Gamer, episode 10! <laughs> Can you believe it? We made it to double digits! Last week we took the Divine Beast back into our care, so Death Mountain is all calm and peaceful again. But now... What do we have? So yeah, this is a bit of a disclaimer that this was a bit of a... If I suddenly change outfits and hair and makeup halfway through the video... It's because I wanted to condense two play sessions into one episode. So just putting that out there right now. Thanks so much for appeasing Rudania, Goro. Oh, that's right. I talked to boss about you. He said to bring you to him. Move it, Goro. Yeah, all right then. I can't believe you conquered Rudania. Call her me impressed. Mm. Good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? <laughs> oh, right. I still got a thank you, brother. Ooh, what do I get? What do I get? There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. Well, there's a Hylian. You probably already know this, but... Apparently, 100 years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade. The sword that seals the darkness. Yes, everyone keeps telling me. Will you tell me where it is? They say the sword sleeps in a forest somewhere, waiting. Mm. I bet you'd like to find it, eh? You should go looking. Yeah, I do want to go find it. Wh wh which forest? I mean, I've passed about 20 forests so far. Let's go get this treasure. What did we get? What did we get? Boulder Breaker! This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy. But a Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Amazing! Oh, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you there, Blue Girl. Okay, you're, you're kind of in my way now. Come on, hurry up. Go on. Thank you, Blue Girl, thank you. I'm looking at my adventure log, and this Spring of Power quest is really bugging me. <laughs> Dinral's scale. We've seen Dan Dinral, and we know where Dinral was heading. I'm determined to find this. We did pop a marker down on our map around here. So let's just go have a little look and just see. Does that not look dragon-like to you? But it's bones though. Like the dragon, the dragon that we saw was alive. What's that noise? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, there it is. Oh, ah. oh my God, okay. Come on. Link, you're not quick enough. Quickly. Quickly, Link. Oh, wow. Oh, no, we're not. I'm not fighting you. Go away. I've got more important things to do. Where's he going? Oh, he, he went behind here. He went behind here. Oh, come on, you're too slow. You're going too slow. Elden Great Skeleton. What's this? Is this a sword? Great flame blade. Okay, hang on. We'll come back for that. There's, there's some... There's some monsters there. Where did the dragon go? He was here. He was literally here. Come on, man. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just run. I don't know where the dragon went. Oh. I've got no weapon. Is that what the problem was? Oh my god. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is... This is booming out. Got you. Okay, I got you. Sorry, I'm not talking. But I saw the dragon. So where did it go? Did it go behind here? Oh, we're getting closer, guys. I'm just staring at the sky, hoping for it to reappear. What we could do is head to, like, the peak, for example. If it does go behind these bones, then I'm going to want to be able to see that. Okay, so here we wait then in that case because we can see, we can see all around from here. Oh, come on. I'm going to stop recording. And then I'll start recording again. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, there he is! Oh! I literally just pressed stop. I literally stopped recording and had to turn that on as fast as I freaking could. I'm saving, I'm saving. Oh wow. I don't think I can land on it, can I? Oh! So I couldn't land on, on him. Oh, he's disappearing again. I don't know how to get this dragon's attention. He's climbing back up into the sky. Okay. Thank goodness I saved just before that happened. Where is he? The dragon was literally there, look. And now he's not there. Well, that doesn't make sense. My adventure log says, offer Dinral's scale received from the red spirit to the spring of power. Does this mean that the sacred relic is Dinral's scale? How do we get a scale from them? Do you think maybe I have to shoot one of the scales off it? Yeah, what I might do next time is try shooting a scale off him. I feel like I'm going crazy waiting for this. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I think I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I do need to go further along. Oh my god. He looks like a zebra. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near him for now. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, oh my god! Link, get to higher ground! Oh my god. No! Let's try again. Is it like I trigger an event when I look at the right point in the sky? Is that what it is? Yeah, look! I'm just aiming willy-nilly. What did we get? Oh, did something fall down? Something fell down. What's that? You know what? I heard that noise before. <gasps> Dinral scale. We got Dinral scale. This precious scale fell from the red spirit Dinral. It emanates a great heat. You can use it in cooking, but just eating it seems like a waste. <gasps> oh my god, we got it. I think I actually hit him correctly a few times already, but I was just so excited and so confused. I didn't know what was going on. I'm going to review the footage, and if I did actually hit him, I'm going to try my best to include that in the edit to show you just how stupid I've been. Oh. Did I hit something? Yeah. Damn it. Was my pleasure. Oh my god. Oh. 
Why is all moving? <laughs> um, okay, well, we need to go hand this quest in. Hello, Goddess Hylia. I have an offering for you. Offer Dinrel's scale received from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Oh. Oh, I've got to. I've actually got to offer it. <laughs> You put that down rather clumsily, Link. Secret. It's a shrine. <laughs> it's a shrine. Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. Well, I mean, hey. I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Hopefully we get something nice from it. Tutsuwa Nima Shrine. A major test of strength. A major test of strength. Okay, the first thing that I've noticed... Oh! I mean, yeah, let's save that. But I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, the first thing oh, that I've noticed is that we've got water. Oh! Oh! Damn you! terrain to help us. Oh! Okay, we dodged out of the way. Our flame bear is going to be uh, toasted. Okay, flame blade has gone. Let's use the frost blade. I didn't notice how low health we were. And we've got no food. We're gonna have to just eat this. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh. I chose the wrong time to go back and forth. Let's do this. I just don't want to die this time. We got him. That actually wasn't bad. I think that was the that was the fourth try. So that's probably the best I've ever done it. Actually, Guardian Shield Plus Plus. Yeah, the output level of this shield has been boosted to maximum. Its combat capabilities surpass those of metallic shields, and it can deflect Guardian Scout beams. Ooh, a flame spear, a magical spear forged in the magma of Death Mountain. Yes, it's very old. Three o'clock in the morning, blooming egg. <laughs> Twelve hour play session. I feel like I've barely touched the surface of this game. I mean, we've got two Divine Beasts. Out of four, we've got two. So technically we are halfway there. I'm still in this heat resistant gear. Let's, let's change into something a little bit more comfortable, shall we? Ah, lovely. Feel fresh and clean. <laughs> nice. Oh, Beedle, where are you going? Hey! Oh, I knew I'd see you again. I think that technically makes you my stalker. <laughs> no, Beedle, you're the one stalking me. I see you everywhere. Look at you in your little crop top. Hey! But seriously, I'm going to have to ask you to stop following me around. Oh, you're getting a bit angry there, Beedle. Hang on a minute. It was best customer appreciation last week, and now you're annoyed. Who am I kidding? I love the attention! <laughs> sa, sa. What are you looking for? Oh, you've got arrows. I'm going to buy all your arrows, actually. Yep. Wow. Because I always find myself running out of arrows. Wow. See you again soon, Beedle. One other thing that I want to do is figure out where we're going next. Because <laughs> I think that's quite important, don't you? We've got quite a small portion of the map uncovered. When you look at the grand scheme of things, look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've potentially got eight more regions left to traverse and only two divine beasts. This game is far more expansive than I had first thought. So I feel like we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> we're going to be in this for the long haul. I'm not a completionist by any means. But what I would like to do, before we move into these uncharted territories, is we're going to revisit all of the areas that I've unlocked. And also, I have been reading the comments, and I have been taking your advice. I think it's about time that I revisited all of the shrines that I've unlocked so far to see if I can get every chest in all of the shrines. Kanamut Shrine has a chest next to it. Oh man, O Shrine doesn't. The chest symbol means that we got the chest. But what we are going to start off with is speaking to Cherry over here and having a look at this gear. The ancient set is 6,000 rupees and I've got 6,000 rupees. <laughs> what, you, what do you mean insufficient materials? Oh, it's more than just rupees. I need the ancient shafts. Oh, damn it. Let's go to Wargo. Cata Shrine, then. Pestu! Hi! Shalaka! So we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. This area is Central Hyrule. Shalako, that means Korok Forest is still much farther north. Wait a minute. 
I'd know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed. <laughs> You've collected a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? I certainly have. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand one of your stashes. Which one will it be? <sighs> oh, lovely. I would like a shield stash, actually. I'll need just one Korok seed. Deal? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, well, thank you very much. New shield. Na, 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 na. Let's get another weapon stash, actually. It's okay. I need three Korok seeds. Okay, so it's incremental. I wouldn't mind filling that next row up, but how many more is that going to take? Cat. <laughs> what do you want? You're going to come here with me today. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Another shield. <laughs> You're a good boy, hey? Good boy, don't bite. No, no biting. Oh, he thinks he remembers how to get back to Cork Forest. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa is waiting for me. Oh no, Hestu, no, don't do that. Thanks for the Cork seeds. I'm off to Cork Forest. Damn it! Well, he says that Cork Forest is north of here. North. Not northeast. Not northwest. North. I'm just saying. Oh, who's this? Hello. Whoa there. Hey. hey there, adventurer. I've got a little information to share with you. I've heard of a secret way into Hyrule Castle. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. It's my birthday today, and I've been getting a lot of calls at the house with um, cards and gifts. Oh, thanks for the birthday card, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you. It arrived at just the right time. Ha! Yeah? Have you gone to the giant castle north of here? That's Hyrule Castle. I used to sneak in there to salvage ancient treasures, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. Uh... These days, it's surrounded by an eerie mist and savage machine-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went in looking for this ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. Okay. It's legendary among collectors, but I was never able to find any. Though Hyrule Castle was destroyed a hundred years ago, somewhere inside it still sleeps rare equipment from those days. It's famed among collectors as the Royal Guard series. Alright. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Let's go to read the He Shrine, actually. Is this chest magnetic? No. How do we get to this chest? How do we get to this chest? Why are there barrels there? I figured it out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. I just got the climber's bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. <laughs> core strength. On his head. <laughs> yeah, my core strength is my mind. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little find, isn't it? Already, I know I've made the right choice by doing this because we're getting stuff that we need. Oh, I tell you one thing. There's that stone talus that's here, isn't there? Should we go have a battle? Oh, I've not got very many hearts, though. Oh, well. Oh, look. There's that long bridge. This image is quite close to the bridge. It's not that far away. 
We should go to the bridge itself, really, shouldn't we? Let's do this first, and then and then let's go have a little look. We're here, aren't we? Okay, let's give it a go. Oh! Aha! Yep. Come on. We got ya. Oh, we've got you, Junior. You're, you're not gonna last long. You are not gonna last long at all. Oh. A bit like my bow. Soldier's bow? Okay, so the, the, the bow's not that great. Yeah, it's not doing that much damage. Let's change to a better bow. We're just, we're just making things so much harder for ourselves. Come on. Yeah, Junior, we got you. We've got you, Junior. Yeah, we've almost got him. <laughs> Look at all these lovely gems. Let's head to the bridge and then work backwards from there to find the memory. <gasps> another dragon? There's another dragon! Farosh. And he goes under the bridge. No, he goes over the bridge. And then into the water. Sorry, Choo Choo's. Does he just go round in circles or is he gone? Where's he gone now, though? Oh, I can't get him. So is it the kind of thing where he just goes round in a circle until you get close enough? That's interesting to know. So. Perspective. Let's get some perspective woman eh? so we're on the right side of the bridge but the yellow rock needs to be to the right of the of the bridge and currently the yellow rock is on the left side of the bridge it's very rainy it's very very rainy oh there's a tree there that's not the tree is it it's a windy tree that looks like a windy tree here it is Oh my god, we found another me <laughs> We found another memory, guys. Oh, Link, what do you remember? What are you going to remember, Link? Huh. I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your yeah. commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter? Oh, Zelda, you're full of self-doubt. The only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Oh, Zelda, she's full of self-doubt, isn't she? <laughs> she's a glass, glass is half empty kind of girl. Well, this, this version of her anyway. Next on the agenda is to head back to the Julian Peak stables. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Hi. You again. Pay no mind to my little bro's chatter from before. He's got a penchant for running his mouth with crazy talk. Ah. Hey, Dak. Why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. <gasps> How dare you. Ah. That's a good point. 
And how dare you? <laughs> We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misko, the great bandit. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. Misko hit the location of the treasure in some kind of strange secret code. I heard this from a former dog walker of one of Misko's underlings, descendants, neighbors. <laughs> as solid as lead as any. <laughs> okay, Misko, uh. the great bandit. The treasure hunters Domidak and Prison accidentally hinted at a riddle that points to the location of treasure hidden by Misko, the great bandit. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. Okay. Big Twin Bridge. That would be the Big Twin, right? Stepping over the river. Is there a, is there a Little Twin Bridge? What's this bridge? Let's have a look. Big Twin Bridge. We're looking for the Little Twin. <laughs> huh. The cave is above the water's source. And the water's source is there. Oh! There's some... oh! That, that ram just rammed me. How rude. It's quite scary. Look at There's a bear there. There's bears. Where did it go? Oh! <gasps> I've mounted a bear! Ooh. Oh, I couldn't tame it though. Is there a way to tame bears? I wouldn't mind taming a bear. We are climbing. It would be silly of us to not, to not at least put the climbing gear on that we've got. I know we don't have the set, but we've got the bandana and the, the nifty sleeveless shirt, haven't we? <laughs> Link looks like a pirate. Yeah, you look like a proper bro now. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. <laughs> Link, you're a dude now. Uh, we found it. Oh, treasure chests. An opal. Not bad. Oh. Amber. What's this? Toasted hearty truffle. This food is cooked. That suggests somebody's been here. A sapphire. Oh gosh, we found lots of good stuff. Another sapphire. And some luminous stone. Ah. More treasure. Oh, and a flame blade. Very nice. What else is there to to discover in this area? Oh, I'm not I'm not going near you guys. No. What is that thing? Stone ox. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. Come on then. Ooh. Oh gosh, that would have killed me. We, we need to save. We need to save, because I'm going to die. We've only got five fire I can't, I can't get him in the eye. Got him. Oh, 
no! I don't have any other food. That's all I've got. Okay. Oh! Come on. Gotcha. <laughs> Thunderblade? A magical sword forged and refined by lightning from the Hyrule Hills. Oh my god, I, I can't see. When the blade shines with a golden light, it will electrocute enemies struck by it. Oh no, I want the fun I want the Thunderblade. There's actually a quest here, isn't there? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Look, we're literally right behind it. What? I've been pondering the dark light mentioned here for some time and I must admit I'm stumped. Light can't be dark, obviously, unless... Whoops. Can't go divulge in my research before I publish now, can I? Light can't be dark. I'm not quite sure what he means. Dark light. Like the moonlight? Is that what he's saying? I only do field work at shrines and ruins during the day. Why do you ask? Yeah. He's literally not here at night. Let's sit till night time. Oh! Look! Look! So we've got to pierce its gaze. Which I'm assuming means shoot it. <laughs> We were right, gang, we were right. Context clues are important. The researcher's not here at night. <laughs> Which is when you'd be able to solve the curse. Kam Urog Shrine. Yes, so we found a new shrine. Lovely. Trial of Passage. Whoa. Okay, there's a chest up there. I can see something else there. These metal things are rolling. Pops. This chest first. Helpful. Lovely. Gorgeous. Fantastic. I'm seeing it. Okay, look, there's a stairway there. Oh, this is a real... This is a really cool puzzle. I'm liking this already. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. First part of the puzzle solved. Right. Okay. I think that's about right. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Oh, amazing! Oh, that was a cute little puzzle, wasn't it? Yay! And we've got another four spirit orbs. Wow. Oh, <laughs> let's speak to him. What a mystery. Oh. A shrine? Here? But I hadn't completed my inquiry into the mystery of the ancient texts. Hmm. This must be what we in the archaeology profession refer to as a stroke of luck. <sighs> Not that I believe in any such thing. Good, because there was no luck about it. I solved the riddle. Silly Billy. Right. 
Can we upgrade um, some of our runes? Stasis? And how does it change? If you power up your stasis, you'll be able to freeze more than just objects. You'll be able to target monsters too. That is pretty handy. Amazing. I'll be trying that one out soon. <laughs> we did it! Do we have any other adventure? Any other side quests? Ah, Zora's Domain. And we'll go to that new shrine over there and get that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there. We can see it in the distance. So we're gonna go we're we're gonna go get a new shrine. Because it's been on our map for quite a while now. Am I gonna struggle to get in? It looks like there's something surrounding it. There's all these vines around it. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump. The shrine there. So that's our new red shrine. And there's a tower just there. It's actually the next area we want to head into as well, funnily enough. Right, let's jump from here. Shirata Shrine. We made it. Speed of light. So we've got... Frank here. What does that do? Water and this light, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, what's, what does that do? That gets the water to rise. Okay, got a metal crate here. that flows. We do that first. Okay. All right. I don't think right. Is that what it was? Is that what the puzzle was? Sorry. I, I was I just fell silent completely. <laughs> I felt like my What's down here? What's down here? Why is this? Why is there a ladder? I don't understand. What am I missing? This is my first time completing this shrine, so I'm not coming back to it just yet. If I don't if I don't have all the chests in this one, we can come back another time. Oh there it is! There's the chest! <laughs> oh no! <sighs> okay. Well there is one thing that I do want to go to. I wanna go here because a few episodes back I saw the the plaque that said something about the Zora Helm. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by the something, Dra, beast. But one Hylian drove the beast back and recorded, re restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm won in this fight. What was? What? In this fight is no something north of in the ruins near something lake. So we're just going to go there and see. Because I would like to get the Zora armor set if possible today. Oh, a light scale. Good day. Do you need something? What are you doing? Spear practice. Hi. But I can't even jump high enough to reach Lady Mifa's pedestal. Oh, that pedestal. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Oh. Was there a pedestal at Veiled Falls? Okay. Oh. 
I want to be able to jump high enough to pierce that pedestal. Okay, that's a that's that's a hint. Veiled falls. Piercing the pedestal. Oh look, with this with a spear. What do you do? A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Oh, you're the Hylian who helps our Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. But you're not half bad. But tell me about the song you were singing. I just love singing. I even remember the song from the Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light. Splits the feet of a veiled fall sight. Your trial awaits, it's glowing bright. I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing it at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did you forget that's his job? Ceremonial song, Shrine Quest. Laruta taught you the Zora song of the Champion Ceremony. Trello seems to know more about the ceremony. We need to find Trello. Let's, let's go find Trello. Is this Trello? Ah! I knew you were the same Link from 100 years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mifa's spirit live on within all of us. <sighs> now then, I must devise a plan to find the ceremonial trident. Oh, that's the other trident I can get. The Champions Festival Light Scale Trident. Well, it's a fake. I planned to have that ceremonial trident examined by Dento, but on the way there I dropped it off the bridge. Ah. It doesn't really matter, it's a fake after all. I'll have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. If someone happens to pick it up. Let's see what he said. Uh, okay. Trello accidentally dropped the ceremonial trident used in the champion ceremony off of the bridge. If you find the spear and recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may open. So he drops it off this bridge. Because uh, yeah, we, we can't dive at the minute or anything. I don't quite know how we, how we find what he's looking for. It could have been carried downstream. For all I know. We'll come back to the, the ceremonial trident. What's that? <gasps> oh my god! Is that who I think it is? It's, it's Kilton. It's Kilton with fang and bone. <laughs> ah, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing how you're a first-time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. Well, yeah, what, what's Mon? Hmm. Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. <laughs> just kidding. There is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turned them into money. <laughs> Here's the deal. If you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Monster gear. And another thing, I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So let's exchange the monster parts you have for Mon. What about the monster parts? Monster parts are the things that monsters drop when they expire. You know, horns, fangs, eyes, the colour and size may differ a bit, but they're all monster parts. The more rare they are, the more mon they're worth. So let's exchange the monster parts you have for mon. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Ooh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for mon? So I get three mon for a bokoblin horn, 5 for the fangs, 10 for the guts, 16, 12, 100 for a lionel guts, 
So quite a lot, actually. What about these key size? Yeah, 10 for the key size balls. Yeah. All of them. Uh? All of them? You have two, so you get 200 more. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you've got for sale first, though. It's been a while, but I've developed a new piece of monster gear. I call it the Lizalfos Mask. Those Lizalfos can really be a pain to deal with in when you're injured. Just when you think they're sleeping, they attack you without a moment's notice. Some of those scaled sneaks can even use camouflage to blend into their surroundings. But if you wear this Lizalfos mask, they'll think you're one of them and they'll ignore you. Oh my god. What monster gear would you like to buy? So, Book Hoblin mask. Kilton's handmade Book Hoblin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Equip it to blend in with Book Hoblins. Moblin mask. Oh my god, so you blend in with Moblins. Blend in with Lizalfos. Lizalfos. Monster bridle. This bridle was handmade by Kilton, but it looks like he may have had some monstrous horse in mind when he made it. It includes a mask that conceals the horse's head. Oh, this is freaking amazing. Spring-loaded hammer. This strange hammer is one of Kilton's specialties. Being struck by it doesn't hurt much, but the fourth swing in a string of attacks will send the victim flying. A wooden mop. So that is just a wooden mop. <laughs> That's very funny. So. Let's buy the Lizalfos mask. Yes. For 300. Yay! I would like the monster bridal. Yep. <laughs> and the monster saddle. Oh, I've been saving my monster parts, haven't I? <laughs> let's get let's take everything. I want I want one of everything. I can afford it, why not? And we've still got mom to spare. Hope to see you again another monstrous night. Thanks, Kilton. That's pretty fun. Let's try one of these out. <laughs> I hope this actually works as a disguise. I mean, I wouldn't be fooled, are you? <laughs> so this is where we've got to bring... When we do find the spear, this is where we've got to bring it. We've got to do that. Yeah. That's what we've got to do. There's Lizalfos there. Shall we see if the disguise works? Am I naive enough to think that this is going to work? <laughs> well, that's funny. I mean, he's following me around like, he's looking at me like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, well that's nice. I'm not getting bothered by the Lizalfos anymore. Oh, but now we've come across this guy. So now let's try this one. <laughs> Truffles. According to the plaque, the Zora Helm is here somewhere. So we're looking for a chest. Is it a metallic one, do you reckon? Is that it? Is, is that it? Oh, please be it. Please be it. What have we got? What have we got? Zora Helm. Swim speed up. Zora headgear made from dragon scales increases swimming speed and allows you to spin to attack underwater. Attack underwater? Attack underwater? Spin attack. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So now we just need the leggings. I don't know how you get them. There's no point in me just running around aimlessly trying to find 
the Zora leggings. Either somebody's gonna tell me where it is, or I'm gonna find a clue that's gonna lead me to it. Is the red main Lionel still here? Yes, he is. There we go. Got him. Yeah. Hello. Mm. Link, how's that Lionel mission coming along? I have your picture. Mm. Oh, wow. Please show me. Mm. Wah. Mm. <laughs> My apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? P pardon me. I'm all better now. That line? How terrifying. Aww. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from this mountain. All right. Now for your reward. Ask and ye shall receive. Oh. These greaves have been passed down among the Zora for generations. It's been said they're crafted using dragon scales. Equip them to swim faster. GG, everybody, GG. <laughs> Please take good care of them. Oh, I will. I. W oh, I've got to wear I'm going to wear them right now. And we have the set. And we have the set. And we're going to leave it there for this episode. Um, oh my god, sorry, I'm going to have to take a sip of tea. I'm, I'm, I'm so pleased with myself. As for today's play session, I'm so chuffed. We managed to defeat a bunch of different monsters. We got a lot of the treasure chests from the shrines. I mean, we've still got a bunch more that we haven't done yet. There's only a few more shrines where we don't have all of the chests. So we've managed to tie off a few loose ends today. We got a lovely new memory as well. So I'm pretty chuffed with what we got done today. Um, it's a nice little bookend to what we've done so far. I'm really happy we got that Zora set. So that's a nice, a nice little uh, bookend to the play session. So until next time, GG everybody, lots of love, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.